what's up guys welcome back this is a new video on uh, oneplus 3t and oneplus 3 so guys uh, today i'll be showing you how to install freedom os which is based on the latest version of oxygen os it is based on stable and beta version if you guys want to try beta version you can download the file from the description below or else you can go with the stable version so uh, all the links i have mentioned inside the description below you can download the files from there and uh, We'll just show you now. Right now, I'm running Oxygen OS that is Open Beta 4 on my 3T, and which is based on Android Nougat 7.1.1. So, guys, to do this, to install Freedom OS, make sure you have TWRP Recovery installed on your device. And uh, if you guys don't have TWRP Recovery, you can check out my other videos. I have mentioned everything there uh, on rooting your device and how to install TWRP Recovery. So for that, what I'll do is I'll reboot the device to recovery now. So after the device boots to recovery, make sure to take a backup of your device. So if you guys are not aware how to take a backup, you can go to the backup, select the partitions from here. And once it is done, just swipe to backup and you'll be done. I won't be doing it because I'll be doing a, a fresh installation. I Normally don't take backup because I don't have any important data inside the internal memory and normally I save everything to cloud space. So now what we'll do is, well, first we'll do a factory reset and after doing factory reset, we just go to install and select Freedom OS. And this is based on Aroma guys, so you get uh, lots of option over here to select uh, extra modes. So first option you get is to select the language, I'll be going with the English one next okay then here i select install continue to install modes i agree the terms and conditions so now here you get an option to do a clean flash or a dirty flash i'll be going with the clean flash so i select no next and here i'll select load choices and so that if i want to install if anything goes wrong i can use the same choice which i'll be doing now and under this section google apps you get uh, few options to select exclude or include apps so here i'll select include and you can see i have selected android pay google drive gmail google keyboard pixel icons google search and i will also add pixel launcher so these are the things which i have for installation so you guys can do according to your requirements i click next next and I have clicked on save choice I click next and again you get system apps option over here which all apps you want to keep which all apps you don't want to keep so here you can select so I have selected include in this I will be including here I'll select exclude and I'll exclude few things like oneplus OTA okay next I'll go down I'll exclude Swift keyboard. So these are the two things which I'll be excluding here. Now I click next and I get an option of install extra modes. So in this you can select a few mods which are available in this Freedom OS. So what I'll be doing is I have selected enable root access. Next I'll keep add away. Enable Android debugging. So here I'll also select Google DNS. Freedom OS wallpaper, Emoji 1, Google Assistant, Aries Sound System, Substratum, I'll select. I don't know whether it is supporting or not, but I'll give it a try after installing this. So, enable uh, wideband Wi Fi, I'll do this also. And uh, enable Premissive, I won't uh, select this. So, now I click on Next, and here I get option of Magisk SU and install Super User. So what I'll be doing is I'll go with Magisk because we have few options to customize the device so I'll be going with this and I click next. Here you get uh, settings for Aries music system or music player. So what I do is I select the latest one and in this I will also select Sony music player because it has track ID and uh, next, 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 next. These two options I'll be keeping in uh, Aries settings and now I click next and ok and install now 
I will wait for the process to complete. Once the process is complete, we'll take a look. So now we reboot the device. So after initial setup completes, get two options over here. You can select OnePlus Launcher and or else you can select uh, Pixel Launcher. So, so OnePlus Launcher, you have the old version of uh, OnePlus Launcher. If you guys want the new OnePlus Launcher, I'll add the APK file in the description below. You can download from there. So now let's go to settings about and see what are things available in this. So this is based on 7.1.1 Android security patch is 1st March and kernel version is same one plus uh, kernel itself we are using in this so now we go to home page and here we have first thing which is uh, added in this is add away it says rooted android required so i'll fix that now so next thing is magisk magisk manager for this you need to just update this you go to play store and uh, use your google account to update and it will start working and this will give in root access to add away so you don't have to worry about it next we have sony music player which we selected in aroma installation so here we have uh, sony music player installed now then we go down we have uh, track id so this helps you uh, get the name of the song which you are listening if you are not aware and we also have wiper install on this in this you get many options like headset you can adjust accordingly in this headset speaker phone bluetooth usb dock so this is the thing here next we have also added uh, google wallpaper options you can select google wallpapers from here so you also have substratum theme this i'm not sure it will be working on this or not but on the xda forum it says it is working so let's see whether it works or not and if it is working i'll also mention in the description below if it is working or not so this room is basically uh, same as oxygen os and just extra modes added in this and uh, this room also doesn't support uh, app shortcuts let's check out if you see it doesn't support app shortcut if you go to settings and there is no option of uh, app shortcuts over here this is because they have not included the latest version of uh, oneplus launcher so if you guys want to do that i have mentioned the file in the description below let's check how is this rom and which is based on the latest version of android 7.1.1 so that's all in the video guys i hope you like the video if you like the video do give a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe thanks for watching have a great day